sucked into a bay. Fashion is in its everything, everywhere, all at once era, and I love it because that just means we could talk about anything and it, it's going to be relevant. But today we are going to be focusing on how to nail the maxi skirt in your wardrobe. You may think that you need to be long and lean to pull off a maxi skirt, but <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm rooting for you and I think that you can do it, specifically if you pay attention to two critical areas here and here. Sorry, it's really hard to show you my shoes. What am I pointing to? Let's find out. So first things first, you're gonna wanna choose the right skirt for your body. This skirt for me sits at my waist, which is not too high as to cut off my torso and give me this really weird leggy proportion. And it doesn't sit too low as to kind of cut off at my hips, which is the widest part of my body. Also, the length is pretty great for me. There's not too much space left between that's gapping that I have to worry about mitigating with footwear. So this is gonna work out perfect for my day-to-day -day life. Now, if you're on the more petite side, perhaps you wanna consider something more like this, where you have the slit in the front, which gives you an opportunity to break up all that fabric and like show a little bit of skin. Just depends on your comfort level. Also, if you opt to maybe go with something that's a bit more flowy, maybe consider the draping of the skirt, something that drapes a little bit more vertically rather than horizontally and tiered. It might give you more of an elongating effect. Lastly, I would also consider if there is a pattern, maybe opt for something that is a smaller pattern rather than large. Again, just anything to kind of avoid the feeling of feeling overwhelmed by the fabric. So the second and probably most fun consideration is going to be the shoes. The shoes are really going to be where you can make or break the look and also just kind of switch up the mood. The important consideration is really going to be the lines. So if you think about like that third, a third, a third proportion that we all kind of know about, the more you break up your body at that bottom third, it's going to not look as good and the more you're going to be like, mm. <laughs> something is just not gonna feel right. Of course, every rule is meant to be broken, but this is just something to consider, a way to pull together a more visually harmonious look. So, of course, the obvious choices are to go for the opposite ends. Either have a shoe or a boot that is taller and that is really kind of creating one seamless line between your the bottom of your skirt and your foot, or going for something that is going to hit at your ankle, which is already a natural line in your body. So if you're gonna go for a boot, one thing that I am particularly loving is the pointed toe. It definitely feels quite modern right now. We're seeing a lot of pointed toe silhouettes out there, but one thing I think it does is that it really also helps to elongate your frame. But I think you also get a really, really cool effect if you have something that is very blunt and a very square toe. So I'm kind of like all in, either very pointed or very blunt. Right now I'm not too much into the rounded toe. And I think that those are kind of just off trend right now as well. They just don't feel as fresh. But if you love your round toes, do that. <laughs> think is also going to do very well with the maxi skirt. Again, because they cut off at your ankle, which is a natural line in your body, they're not creating any new lines or any other weird proportions and still giving a very satisfying look. Also, another style consideration is the platform, so or the flat form in this case. So this flat form is a model that just hits around the ankle again, not creating a new line there. So it still looks okay and I would definitely wear this. And of course, I absolutely love heels with this. I mean, they just make you look like you have legs for days. So a standard pump is totally fine. Again, I love how it just has that openness of the foot. So you kind of get that elongation effect, especially when you have the slit in the front. A sling back would be phenomenal with this as well. 
Of course, a sandal would work. A sandal, again, not creating any additional lines, but I love having it with a heel, something peeking out at the bottom. And then it also, it's functional. It kind of keeps the skirt above the ground and so you're not worrying about it dragging on the ground. This might be clutch for my petite friends. Heel height. Now, of course, if you are going to rock one of those extra, extra long skirts that we are really seeing a lot of right now, you definitely might want to consider a more substantial shoe, something with a higher heel, just to prevent your beautiful, beautiful skirt from dragging on the ground. But hey, if you don't want to, put it on a bagel. this is where we start bringing it all together. The type of skirt and the shape of your skirt along with the shoe choice. One example, loafers. Can you wear loafers with a maxi skirt? I think it really kind of depends. So if you have a skirt that's more of a straight edge, I think it can be a little bit dicey to wear a loafer with that because the loafer is going to have a line that kind of comes up a little bit further and a lot closer to your ankle and give the illusion of another line. However, if you have a skirt that does have a split in the center and you are able to see some leg kind of break up the fabric a little bit, it might be okay. It might work. So it depends. But again, here is where we really get into the detail and into the weeds and it's really important to go with what you feel comfortable with. And there you have it. Those are some tips and tricks for really nailing maxi skirts in your wardrobe because joy, it matters, joy. It really matters. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.